this is Justin with an overview of the new MacBook Pro and Mac OS, S OS X line. So today Apple just released the new MacBook Pro and here are some of its new features. First, it's upgraded the processors. There's, um, for the 13-inch MacBook Pro, they now offer uh, Intel Core i5 or i7 dual core processor, and for the 15 and 17 inch models, they have um, i7 quad core processors. Also, they switched all the graphics over to AMD, so there's no more NVIDIA graphics, um, and it also has the Intel HD graphics built in. Next, um, they're Apple's introducing Thunderbolt, which um, it's a port that's built into the mini display port, and basically it, it's able to transfer um, uh, transfer files at 10 gigabytes per second, which is extremely fast. It's, it's twice as fast as USB 3.0, so I think this is really great if you're, you know, transferring um, HD videos over to your computer or any, any really big files, so. Um, and finally, the the last new feature is they're introducing FaceTime HD cameras. So, you know, before the EyeSight cameras were, I think, VGA, and they were pretty bad. So I'm very happy to see that they're now introducing a, a built-in HD camera, and hopefully all these new features will be implemented on the MacBooks, the Mac Pros, and the iMacs very soon. So... That's the new MacBook Pro. The pricing hasn't changed, and the new features look really great. Um, and the design is the same also. So next, um, Apple released some um, more information about uh, Mac OS X Lion. So first, there's the autosave and versions um, features. And basically, uh, these automatically save your documents, and they also save it at different stages. So if you're working on a document and you know you want to go back to how it was a few days before you could do that so um, that's very cool the next feature um, is resume so like let's say you're doing a software update and you have to restart your Mac um, you, you, you know usually you have to X out of all your applications you know restart and then go back into the, um, the application so now when you restart you could just pick off exactly where you left off, which is really cool because, you know, that's one thing why I, you know, only do software updates every so often, but this this is makes it much easier. Um, and finally, there's Mail 5, which I'm really happy about because I, I really don't like the Mail application currently. I usually just use Gmail, but... Um, this makes it very similar to how it is on the iPad, so I really like that, and I'm looking forward to see that. Oh, and also, um, there's another feature of Mail 5 is, um, also like the iPad, you could view your, um, emails in conversation, so that's really cool. Um, the last two features are AirDrop, which lets you transfer files between Macs on the same network which will make it much easier, you know, if you want to, you know, move between your desktop and your laptop or anything like that. And um, finally is there's Lion Server, which, um, you know, it just makes it easy to set up your Mac as a server. And that's pretty much all the new features that Apple announced about OS X Lion, and it's coming out this summer. So, yeah. So that's um, an overview of the new MacBook Pro and Mac OS X Lion. Thanks for watching.